Hey everybody, cover reveal time. I've got a cover for a brand new book that's coming out. A book called Apocalypse Taco. It's a little ways off, not coming out till next year, but I thought you might want to see what went into the cover. Very soon the cover will start appearing in catalogs and places like that, so I thought I'd get a jump on it and show everybody what it looked like and how we got there. This is not a history book. This is a book a lot closer to One Trick Pony. If you haven't read One Trick Pony, it is a great story. Monsters, aliens, robot ponies, go check it out. It just came out in paperback. Look for that one. This is not the next book I've got coming out. That would be Lafayette. If you haven't pre-ordered that one, jump on it. It's coming out soon. But let's jump into this cover. Before I start a cover, I do thumbnails. Now this book is called Apocalypse Taco. It is about a taco drive through couple of kids get mixed up in an evil drive through that ends up being filled with monsters and things. Of course, you'll learn more about that when, you, when the book comes out. But these are the elements I wanted to involve. Uh, kids, are ma my main three characters, the evil drive through and how the evil drive through is filled with monsters. These are the three things I wanted to make sure that the cover communicated for this story. So I did a bunch of different thumbnails. Here's the kids in front of the car. Here is the drive through but in its reflection you can see it's kind of an evil monster drive through Just some different things. Of these thumbnails, this one was the one that I think told the story the best on the cover. So I took that and I kind of drew it. Here are the three main character kids and they are running past the evil drive through and we see in the reflection that some different strange things are going on. Not only is the drive through reflected down there, but we can also see that our characters have some things happening to them too. Our main character is holding this very sketchy version of a snow scraper, you know, like for your windshield on your car. That is a, uh, an important story element. He's fighting the monsters with a snow scraper. This was my first color sketch for this book. And I thought, well, let's try some different things too. It's early days. So I did the same picture, but rotated so we could see the same image, but at a slight diagonal. Never done a diagonal cover before. I uh, thought, what if we tried the book cover without the main characters? Just the drive through On the top, you can see that it's a normal drive through but when you look down beneath the surface, you can see it becomes a scary monster one. I thought, I like this a lot but let's put the kids into this artwork. So this was the sketch. And this was the first sketch that the publisher really liked. I sent it to the art director and the art director said, I think we're on the right track, but let's try some different colors. This is why he's the art director. It looks cool, right? And he put up on top there uh, my name so that you can see uh, this name is also in the same font as the uh, One Trick Pony cover. We took this existing image right here and we said, all right, it is time to start tightening up the sketch. So I gave them this tighter sketch. As you can see now, there's our three kids. There's the snow scraper. We can see the taco drive through turning evil, turning into evil, scary reaching hands. There's the snow scraper in the center. We can see our three different characters and what they're wearing. All of this stuff starting to come together. And they said, well, let's keep working on a few things. Um, Let's tighten this up. So I started tightening it up and making a little bit more of the line work. If this line work looks familiar to you, it's because I'm trying to make this book look similar to the line work on the cover of One Trick Pony. Do you see how the line work, the little hatching and drawing lines are a little bit similar, that circular pattern coming out, a little bit similar to how it's gonna look on Apocalypse Taco. As I was drawing this version though, I came to a horrible realization that this typeface I was drawing looked a lot like the Garbage Pail Kids. Can you see it? I couldn't have a Garbage Pail Kid typeface on my cover, so I said I need to work on that. And the publisher said, yeah, you definitely need to work on that. We don't want a Garbage Pail Kid cover. But also, the face of our main character isn't quite right. It's maybe a little too angry for the cover of this book. So I gave them four different options, some different faces. 
You can see in A, it's a little more of a scared face. He's overwhelmed by the monsters coming this way. B here is a little bit more comedy, a little more uh, scared. C, he's uh, kind of being ridiculous, like come at me monsters. And then D is sort of a mix of all of them, but with a little more of a heroic growl. What do you think? Which one would you go with? A, B, C, or D? Well, the art directors went with A. That scared face. And this right here is our finished cover. Actually, it's not fully finished yet because there's a few more details like my name and the New York Times bestseller. All that information needs to go on there. But this right here is our finished cover for the book Apocalypse Taco. Story about a scary drive through that comes out next year. This was actually a pretty easy cover to go through. Some covers have been had twice as many, three times as many steps, but that is our final cover. So keep your eyes peeled for it. It'll be coming out next year. If you can't wait till next year, go back and read One Trick Pony. If you don't want to go back and read One Trick Pony, pre-order Lafayette coming out in October. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.